Joseph. I'm your host. And today is a continuation of where we stopped last week. So we're still talking about depression. And I picked something up and I wanted to just share it. And it says depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest. Also called major depressive disorder or clinical depression. It affects how you feel, how you think, and behave, and can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems. You may have trouble doing normal day-to-day -day activities, and sometimes you may feel as if life isn't just worth living. And today we have a professional, a lecturer, who is learned, I mean learned in this you know food that we're talking about. I have head, I mean head knowledge, but he has read a lot about this topic and we want to hear from him you know coming from his own perspective what he's learned and we have um mr thank god Oche, Oche, i said it right and he's a lecturer at redeemers university and his field is in child and school psychology so welcome mr thank god on the show you are um, and we so appreciate you coming to the show. And we're grateful that you can shed light in some areas that we don't even know nothing about. So what is the, I mean, from what I read earlier, depression is a mood disorder and all that. Why are so many people, even around our society, going through this depression? And some don't even know it. Okay. Once again, thank you, Robin. Uh, let me start by saying, a lot of the problems, especially if you apply when it comes to the issue of depression, is because we always feel that everything is supernatural. Mm -hmm. Instead, that the supernatural forces that uh, influences what we do as an individual. Of course, I agree with you, uh, but when it comes to the issue of depression, some could be supernatural, but most of the time, these are learned behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always tell people that when we are everything to the supernatural, we become ineffective because we are not looking at the root cause. So you see that there are different reasons why a lot of people are depressed. It could be biological, in terms of if a family has destroyed depression. Yes. I never thought about that. If a family has depression, that trait can be passed to the children. It's an irritating thing. Yes, it could be oh, wow. yes. also, It could also be environmental. I was talking about interacting with the environment. So the issues like um, our divorce, remember what that woman said earlier? Yes. Um, when a parent divorce, she, our world mm, was messed up, yes. and she's like, another couple with sexual abuse, mm -hmm. which is also environmental. Yes. And so it will also be as a result of uh, death of loved, loved ones, mm -hmm. with someone that you love so much. Yeah. And that can also lead to Depression. And lastly, based on what that man said also, it was also what we call psychodynamic. Mm -hmm. There are experiences an individual go through during his childhood mm -hmm. days that he felt that experience had disappeared. Mm -hmm. But the person did not know that it did not disappear, but only went into his unconscious. Mm -hmm. So in the process of time, because he never dealt with it, the issue begin to come up in the start. And he or she does not even know why he or she is behaving that way. Yeah, and that begins to lead into depression. That so there are quite so a number of issues that make people go yeah. depressed. That is so important what you just talked about, about being in a subconscious mind. Because most of us grew up with, I mean, like, you don't remember what happened as you, I mean, what happened to you when you were five, what happened to you when you were ten, or whatever. But later on, you act in a certain way that leads or leads to where all that is going to be told is, wow, you're shedding so many lights and to think Remember what that woman said, she experienced mm -hmm. sexual abuse. Yes. She never dealt with it. Mm -hmm. So you can see how even faith is connected to science. Yeah. That God had to tell her, mm -hmm. go back to your childhood days and think of that experience you are. You need to deal with it. Yes. You need to accept yourself mm -hmm. you start, and see yourself as a different person. Mm -hmm. You see, God even put the responsibility to her. That you have to figure out responsibility and deal with the issue. That's so profound. Because I dealt with mine as well. Like when I was growing up, a little 
little bit of sexual abuse. But yeah, you will not talk about that because you feel like, oh, I can't remember it. But in your subconscious mind, I think something happened. That kind of led to certain things that I'm thinking a certain thing that you'll be thinking about and certain attitude or behavior that comes from that. So I totally, totally agree with everything you've talked about. And you said it could be um, like from energy. So, how would someone know that, okay, this depression I inherited, how would, what are the signs that kind of lead you to that hereditary um, depress, depression or, you know, depressive mood? I think uh, one of the things we are always conscious or careful about is uh, we are always careful not to damage an individual. If the same person has depression, just mm -hmm. by since they've been signed. Mm -hmm. So that is why, as professional, we always encourage do assessment. Yes. You need to assess the person. Somebody can be sad and not be having depression. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. we be able to, so we must be able to run a test, like the way you go to the hospital and then yes. the doctor have to yeah. ask yeah. one or two questions mm -hmm. to diagnose to really know the real issue. I think also we can do that to be able to know the reason or the cost of this depression. Is that a result of family history or something else? Mm -hmm. So I can't just. You'll see right now to be able to diagnose mm -hmm. that individual. But again, you have to ask the person what your, 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 your parents, mm -hmm. or your mom, your dad, mm -hmm. your, any of the siblings have never experienced the form of depression or all of that. So I think one can be interested. That's 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 a good and I, I believe that someone watching right now is saying, Okay, I'm always on the edge, I'm always so angry, I'm always so irritable, and I'm not there are some undiagnosed depression that it just lays underneath. You don't know it's depression. So what would you say to that person? Well, even if somebody is always getting angry or always sad, it's mm -hmm. not even a good uh, mm -hmm. behavior of the person. It's not the issue of depression, it's not the issue. Mm -hmm. But you still need to deal with that. Like yeah. I always talk about when I'm talking about depression in this part of the world, we always look at the fruit. Mm -hmm. Depression is a fruit, it's not a root cause. There's what we need for the root cause analysis. You have to be able to check. It's like an ant bite. What you see, you can't compare it to what you cannot see. Mm -hmm. It's leads to compare to what you cannot see. So when you're going towards the river, you see or the sea, you see a very tiny stone. Mm -hmm. But what is beneath it is very, very big. So issues of depression is like an ant bite. What you see is just depression, but there are a lot of issues mm -hmm. that you cannot see. It's sexual abuse, anger, um, death of loved ones. Mm -hmm. Different issues, and to begin to take away those issues, there's no way can be able to address the depression. Mm -hmm. The same thing with suicide. Suicide is not the fruit. Mm -hmm. But we want to address issues, we want to address, we can't just address suicide. You have to be able to deal with the issues. You know, so for that such person, the best thing to be able to deal with the issue of anger, you know, feeling sad, and all of that, because it's also not good behavior. That's so good. And before we continue, we're going to take a little break. And then we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. that trigger negative emotion. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but it feels, it feels like he doesn't belong to his, you know. Exactly. So class. that the school itself is positive, going to school is positive, mm -hmm. but it's experience within the school environment yes. is negative. Mm -hmm. So that begins to trigger depression. That is why most of the time you see some children don't like going to school. Not because they don't want to learn, but because of the experience mm -hmm. they get in school. But how would a, an eight year old even think of that word depression? That's that's what it's going to be Is it thinking about it or is action is expressing it? Is thinking like the I just want to die. I just told you depression is the fruit. You need yeah, to the fruit. Eight years, years old go through a lot. Mm -hmm. In fact, five years old go through a lot. At the age of eight, you are able to think in images symbolically. Yes. So we have seen things that have formed a mindset. Mm -hmm. Because at eight years you can think. Yes. And your thinking affects your mood. That's true. Which yes. definitely affects your action. Yes. So you have seen a lot of things that have affected his thought. Mm -hmm. And affected his mood or his emotion, yeah. and it's not affecting his action. That's true. So he's, he's, he has gotten to die. In fact, even five years can tell you that I want to think of your life. If what they are, assuming a child growing up in, the, in an abuse family, mm -hmm. every day he sees his mother mm -hmm. being beaten by the father, mm -hmm. depression never goes into it. Yes. It's not feeling that maybe I'm the cause of it, or um, why am I here, they don't want me here, exactly. and stuff like that. Wow, that's so deep because I see a lot of young people now just taking their whole lives. Yeah. I see, I mean, Instagram, Facebook, you know, the internet is full of so many negativity. And it's causing so many of these young people to just think that the fastest way out of their pain is death. And that's self death. Yeah. Kill themselves. I mean, why? I mean, how do we address this? Is social media itself causing this to these people, or is, like you said, it's something deeper than that? That social media is just like a little, because everybody's like close to the edge. So it's just like a little push, and just means them think, okay, okay, I can't take this anymore. I just want to take my life. I, I, I think that social media is not cause Social media is good, but there are a lot of things people see on social media that make them get depressed. And like, it's not because, just the, like okay, for instance, now somebody that will go to marry, mm -hmm. every day on stream media, they keep seeing people, and maybe the person already saying, well, I'm getting old, and I'm worried, every day they keep seeing different women on social media, people taking natural pee and all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, you will get worried mm -hmm. and maybe swing into depression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but however, that is still the food. Yes. One thing that we need to address is people's self esteem. Yeah, we are able to help them to develop good self-esteem. Yes. And the question is, how many parents are available to even see the sign when it starts, or when it starts? Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to, how available are the parents? Mm -hmm. Even when they get to school, what kind of school do your child go to? What are the behavior, the things that are permitted in those schools? Mm -hmm. You understand? That will affect or can affect the children. Yes. So once we begin to look at all these issues, we all know we live in a country where you can be depressed by hearing so many things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know? even in, in this in, in Nigeria, like you hear a lot of people on the streets yelling, so irritable, so angry. Like if you push someone, it's so quickly agitated. I'm like, calm down, it's not that serious. But to them, it's like, ah, oh, like it's just. Yeah, it depends because you see quite a lot of people are going through a lot. Mm -hmm. And because we live in a culture of silence. People can't talk. I mean, people are counting. I mean, people will go out there to tell you what I'm going through if somebody will not join you. Because it's, we, we kind of judgment as people. Yeah. You understand? So people can't open up. People when you're having issues, because of this status symbol, I'm saying, oh, me that I'm a leader in my you know, group or something, how would I be able to tell them I'm having issues or my marriage is going through something or I can't be able to do this? You know, how would they even look at me? You know, because we, our sense of self esteem is based on people's approval. Wow. You understand? Yes. So it's difficult for us to be able to open up mm -hmm. and talk to people. I see one of the fast, the fastest way to keep depression is when you open up to talk. Yes. The moment you, it's depression tries in secrecy. Mm -hmm. The moment you keep quiet, the That's moment true. you're silent, you're not talking to people. Mm -hmm. You understand? You begin to get depressed. You yes. understand? And again, our personality can also affect. For instance, based on research, introverts are more prone to depression than extroverts. You know? So, so we must be able to look at all these issues and how we can make it be 
there are quite a number of there are multifaceted, quite a number of issues that relate to people to get the credit. But like I said, we need to pay attention to the family, the school, even the religious organization. We really need to begin to pay attention to them. If people are depressed and they don't know how to do it, they will they use other means. That's why people take drugs, mm -hmm. taking a call, mm -hmm. you know, involved in different kind of you know vices. Mm -hmm. Drugs is a form of escape. Yes. You get it. Mm -hmm. Not to be able to deal with the real issue. Mm -hmm. It is so profound everything you talked about. And I just I mean what while, while you were speaking, I was just thinking of so many things. But we'll be right back before we I, I go through that thought. So thank you for watching. We'll be right back. And we'll talk about, I mean, we'll talk more to Mr. Tenga Kuchel.